What is up guys, Mr. Editing Tutorials here, and I got a new tutorial for you guys today, and it is how to sync your gunshots to music. So it's gonna be maybe a little bit confusing, but once you get a hang of it, it's pretty easy to do. So we're gonna be doing this in Sony Vegas today, because that's how I do it. I'm doing this because I was asked by one of my subscribers on how to do it, and he's been a loyal subscriber to me. Constantly, con constantly, constantly, constantly commenting on my videos, giving him likes, good feedback. So I figured, if he's doing that for me, why not make a tutorial for him? And I'm sure it'll be helpful, helpful to you guys, because syncing is one of the most important things in montages. So we're gonna use just take a clip where you get more than one kill, or you take more than one shot. A lot of people do it with like Desert Eagles or pistols. I'm gonna do it with the sniper because I honestly don't have any. Desert Eagle uh, or pistol kills in general, like clips. So I'm gonna use this song called uh, it's uh, Ellie Golding's. Uh, what is it called? I forgot what it was called. Hold on, I'll tell you in a second. Um, here, here. It is Ellie Golding Starry Eyed Jake Wob Remix. So if you just type in Ellie Golding Remix in the first Starry Eyed, it's a pretty good song for like montages. I kind of like it. No, I don't like listen to it just for fun. It's really it's good for montages though. So what you want to do is open up your clip once you get your song in. All right. So my clip will be in here. I'm also working on a montage right now for some guy that I made a montage before and he liked it, so I'm making another one for him. So we don't need this. Gonna. All right. This is the, what we don't need. And then he sent me like really long clips, like only like parts of it are actually part of it. So I think the clip starts right about. We'll start it right there. I'm gonna change this, my settings real quick to 59.94 because that's the easiest to see with. Alright. So bring your clip and then find the part of the song you're gonna use. The part of song I'm going to use is, let's see. You've probably heard this song in a montage. I'm going to do that like, clapping sound. Alright, so it starts right about... Start it there so I can get rid of this. Alright. So what you want to do is zoom in a lot, and then you kind of have to listen to it a few times to get a feel for a song so you can time it, and then every time that beat comes up, you want to press M on the keyboard, and it's going to leave a, a mark, like a, an orange line, so you can see. So here we go. I'm going to press play, and just get ready. Kind of like know the song. Like, here we go. Let's see what I'm doing here. Alright, that should be enough. You only have to do the amount of shots that you have. So I did 8. My guy only gets 4 kills, but I figured I would do that. Alright, so once you marked all the parts you need, like this, it should so look something like that once you zoom out a little bit. My clip is right here, and it's necessary for you to do this. On the clip, right click, go to Properties. And then disable resample. Make sure that is clicked. And then press OK. So that makes sure you can stretch it farther. Alright. So now you want to find your first shot. Or first whatever, whatever you're sticking it to. You're probably sticking it to a shot. So uh, my first shot is right. Let's see. I uh, To move one keyframe, just use like the arrows on your uh, computer. So it takes a shot right there as I can see the line so the take where you s then pre split the clip where you take the shot and drag it to the first marker and it should match up it should make that little line right there and then just click and go right here so know how we split it in half you're gonna take the shot and line it up and take the other part the first part should look like this should be one half should be sync and the half should just be like sitting here and then you just wanna drag it so that like go right here where it says the two arrows are facing different ways Press control and you'll see a little squiggly line and then click, make a blue line and then just drag it out and it'll lengthen the clip. So you want to match it up so it's right there. Alright? It's 
So once we've done that, then we want to find the next shot. His next shot is right... It's pretty, like, simple, but it's a little confusing, like, the first time you do it. So then, he takes a shot right there, split it again. Make sure it is matched up. But see, what happened here is, the between the two shots, the beats came before it. So what you want to do is, where we split it, pull the shot out a little bit, just so it's like that. And then, like I said, it's a little bit too fast. So, what you want to do is, what we did before, instead of making it longer, you want to make it shorter. By kicking, go right here, where the two arrows are at the end of the clip. Control, click, make the blue line, and just drag it to match it up on the inside of the clip. So it look, should look like that, how it's matched up. And then, once again, just take your clip, and boom, match it up. So we have all the shots are lined up so far. Like I said, it might sound a little confusing, but it's pretty basic. So now we're going to go on and find the next shot. My next shot is right about, oh, oops, went past it by accident. So I see the recoil right there, so the shot's right there. Alright, now we're going to, once again, take the clip and drag it to that marker, the next marker. And then just extend your clip again, like this, pull, match it up. Now we're going to find the next shot. This is going to be the last shot for this. Because he only gets a four man, which is not bad at all. I'm just saying he gets four kills. And then the last kill is right about... Uh... There. Same thing again. Pull it, drag it to the next marker. Press control. Click, make the blue line, and drag it to match it up. So it should look something like this. And then my clip ends right... There. So I'm just going to fade this out a little bit. And to do that, see this little um, blue thing right here on the corner of the clip? should say fade offset. And then you'll get like this, uh, it's kind of like an arc. And then you just want to click that and pull it in. And once you get that, that's when the clip will start fading away to complete the black. Alright? So I'm also going to split my song a little bit after. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just nice offset. There you go. Alright, so it should look a little something like that. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys a rendered out version of that. And if you don't get it, just let me know and I'll try to make it a little bit easier. Because I may have been a little confusing. I'm just going to delete the... Delete? I'm just going to delete these extra markers that I made. There we go. Delete. Alright, so I got all those and I'm just going to render this out and show it to you guys. So, um, I'll see you next time, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. If you need help, just leave a comment, like I just said, and I'll try to help you as much as I can, or I'll make it a little bit slower tutorial next time. But, um, if you found this tutorial helpful and you learned something, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time, guys. I'm out.